the development of motor skills or how do you learn to move well it turns out some things you don't need to learn you were born into this world already knowing how to do a few things basically things related to breathing and making sure you got food so no one had to teach you to breathe you were born into the world with a breathing reflex right the doctor may have spanked you on the behind and what's the first thing you did <gasps> drew in air which is amazing because that's not what was happening when you were in the womb but you're born knowing how to adjust to a world filled with air instead of a world of fluid um, you're also born knowing how to suck in fact if you take a brand new baby and you touch their lips the first thing they'll try to do is suck on your finger again no one had to teach you how to suck usually um, it's something that you were born knowing how to do it's innate there's a really funny well I think it's funny but I don't have children so maybe I'm perverse but I think it's really funny let's say interesting and not funny mm. Uh, it's called the rooting response and it turns out that with newborns if you touch the side of their mouth or the side of their face they'll immediately move their head in that direction so you touch them over here they'll move their head this way you touch them over here they'll move their head that way obviously this is designed uh, to get food from the mother um, but you can torment a newborn why you'd want to but you can torment a newborn by touching them on the side of the cheek and they will show this rooting reflex um, you're also born with a number of other reflexes um, thankfully some of these disappear I mean wouldn't it be weird as an adult if somebody touched your lips and you started sucking that would be strange one of the interesting uh, reflexes that we're born with is called the Babinski reflex and the Babinski reflex is that if you touch a newborn baby's foot their toes will immediately fan out yeah. so they might be a little um, you know bent over and you touch their the bottom of their feet and their toes will fan out there's also something called a grasping reflex which is just adorable with little babies you just put your finger in their in their hand and they will grasp it right anything that touches their palm they will grab and that's a brilliant um, reflex for us to have because we come born into this world completely unable to take care of ourselves right we are born completely dependent on other people so if something's in my hand I better grab it right if there's something near my lips I better try to eat from it um, there's a really wonderful video that I want you to watch um, down at the bottom of the slide babies are born with a set of reflexes critical for survival in the outside world some of these reflexes are so obvious you might not think to look for them such as the breathing reflex or the eye blink reflex Rooting is one of the most critical reflexes. By touching the four-week-old Lily's cheek, she'll turn her head and open her mouth in preparation for nursing. Once the baby is in contact with a breast, a bottle, or even a finger, the sucking reflex takes over. Involuntary at first, the neonate will gradually gain control over sucking during the first year. Placing liquid in the mouth will induce the swallowing reflex. In the first few weeks of life, it takes all the baby's concentration just to control these various uncoordinated reflexes. At this age, feeding Julia can take over an hour. After about six weeks, though, Julia will be a pro. There are other reflexes babies are born with that we don't completely understand. In the first two months, babies exhibit the stepping reflex. This is probably a precursor to walking. Watch Lily's toes fan out and curl. This is the Bobinski reflex, which occurs when the bottom of a baby's foot is stroked. When pressure is placed on the baby's hand, you can see the grasping reflex at work. 
Bully's grasp is strong enough to support almost her entire body weight. For a few seconds, at least. Researchers suggest that this set of reflexes were critical during an earlier stage of human evolution, perhaps dating from a time when babies had to cling to their mothers. These reflexes will disappear completely after a few months. How about visual development? Well, did you know that you were born legally blind? It's true. Babies come into the world seeing very, very blurry things. So the picture on the upper uh, left-hand corner here shows you what a baby sees when it's newly born, um, what it actually perceives when it looks at a ball. And you can see it's just blurry muck. Good clear vision, so the, the goal vision is 2020. Babies are born with either 2400 or 2800 vision. So what you can see clearly from 800 feet away, babies have to be much closer, only 20 feet away. So um, when you're first born, you're actually, I mean, you can see light when I say legally blind. I don't mean there's darkness. You can see light, but your acuity is very, very poor. And then within the first two months of life, you can start to see forms much more clearly. Uh, as you see in this picture. And by the time you're, well, really at the end of your first year, you can see as well as an adult.